All right, folks, so this is the newly released Retivas iLunes HD2, and in today's video, we're going to do a firmware update. Won't that be exciting? Anyhow, let me go ahead and turn this baby on, and you can see it come up, and it says Retivas and iLunes. I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu, and when I do that, I'm going to go this way and see version. When I hit version, you can see at the bottom, it says V1.0.0-GPS. The GPS designation means that this one has a GPS in it, and the firmware version is 1.0.0. So in order to do the firmware update, we're going to need to take this screw out. So let me do that real quick. And my screwdriver is too dang on big. Hold on one second. Okay, I got a reasonably sized screwdriver, so let's go ahead and take this out. Now this radio is IP67 waterproof certified, and that means it has this cover that screws on there. Now what we need to do is we need to take this programming cord that came with the radio, and then you can see that there is a similar connector here. So we just need to go ahead and attach that. All right, that is attached, and we're going to take this side, and we're going to plug that into our computer. And I'm going to come right back once I do it. Oh, I almost forgot. iLunes did contact me, and they asked if I would review this radio, and I like reviewing radios. So I said yes. They sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you don't like that, you might want to go watch some cat videos. All right, we're plugged in and powered up, connected to the computer. Let's take a look at our device manager. So here's my device manager panel. And when you look under ports, com, and LPT, I had a new port open up and it says USB serial CH340 COM6. And so CH340 is a type of chipset that they use for UART. And uh, that's what we're going to use here. So let's go ahead and get the software installed. So I'll include a link below. Don't worry, it's not an affiliate link. That shows the download for the firmware and software setup. And this folder right here is the download 2024-02-27, so it'd be February 27th, HD2 firmware and software update zip. Now pay attention. I'm going to right click on this. And when I do that, I should get something that says extract all. And I'm going to pick the extract all. And it's going to ask me where I want to extract this to. And I'm going to hit that button. Once that happens, I get a new window that shows me the firmware contents. Let me close that out. I'm going to go into the folder here. I want to make sure I'm not clicking on the zip folder. I want to click on the extracted folder. And then once that happens, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to hit this firmware update folder. And so when that happens, I get a message from uh, my Windows device saying it's protecting my PC. And I'm just going to click that and I'm going to hit run anyway. Now, everybody, this is where you tell me there's a virus in that software. And it's just because this software is not digitally signed. So when I get this uh, installator, installer window, I'm going to just click next. And then I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit finish. And it's going to connect me to the software here. I don't think I can make this any bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this. I'm going to pick COM6 because that's the COM port that was designated in my device manager. I'm going to hit connect. And I guess I'm updated. I mean, I guess I'm connected. And it says, please click to get the version. Please click get version. So I'm going to do this. And I don't know if it's doing anything or not. So let's give it a second or two. Okay, here's the problem. I didn't have this in device firmware update. So in order to do that, what I need to do is press the side key one and the PTT button at the same time. While those are being pressed, I want to go ahead and I want to turn the radio on. When that happens right here, I've got a red light. So let's go back and try to run the software again. Okay, here we're back at the software. Let's go ahead and pick the right COM port. Let's pick connect. Let's click get version. Okay, so here's the version that's on the HT right now. I'm going to hit update and let's give this a few minutes to run. Okay, I got a message that says upgraded successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you something. <clears throat> so here's the user manual and I'll include a link where you can get this in the description below. But if I scroll down, I think it's page nine. Let me get there. I should do this uh, stage beforehand. But here we go, updating the firmware operation. So there is instructions for doing this. I just didn't know about it. And this is where I got the information about entering DFU mode. So let's check the radio and see if the upgrade took. 
All right, let's turn this off to get out of DFU mode. We'll turn it back on. And we're started up and let me go in here. Let me go up. Let me look at the version information and you can see it says version 2.0.0. So it looked like it worked. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond.